Africa versus Kenya. For South Africa, that is Jordan, Green, Webb, Cromley, Ruse, Simmers, and Mali in the starting seven. Now for Kenya, unlucky on day one. Their starters will be Chijera, Mbogo, Kuru, Remo, Okello, Masinda, and the captain, Philadelphia, Orlando. Here we go, Kenya in their traditional red jersey to the left with Philadelphia, Orlando in front, South Africa to the right. And in commentary, I'm happy to be joined with the lady who was the youngest ever capped at the young old age of 17 in the World Cup, Tiana Penetani. Who do you like in this one? Well, I like the, the looks of Rugby South Africa. The last team that these two went head to head was only last week in Hong Kong for the World Series qualifiers where South Africa got on top of them. But Kenya really put on a show yesterday against um, England in their pool matches. So it'll be a tough one. Sorry, against Canada, not England. The Kenyan team on screen there, getting in their huddle. And Rebecca Maroney from New Zealand will take charge of the whistle. South Africa look like they will get us underway running left to right. Thanks very much. South Africa. Yeah, all good. Had some promising moments on day one. One lady who really stood out for me, jersey number nine, Nadine Ruse. Thank you. Very quick. Happy. She's the lady on screen there. Bit of a pause before we get this game underway. South Africa v Kenya. Kick over the top. So first mistake, South Africa. They won't be happy with that start. Unlucky there for Rugby South Africa to get that one out on the full. That just gives the, t the Kenyan team easy field and good field position. Yeah, it's going to be the tap kick here for Kenya. It's going to be Okolu. Lay cup. They're going to come in for the setup. It's a nice run by. Philadelphia, Orlando, the captain. Nice long place. They loop around and create the overlap. Another loop around again now. Can they shift it out? Taken into contact. Good defense covering up though from South Africa. Chajira is the one. Takes it into the right. You can see there are no defenders for South Africa on the ground. There is a player from Kenya on the ground. Looks like Masinde. There's the knock on. Again, the late cut coming from Orlando. Didn't work on that occasion. Ball's going forward on the ground by seven. They were lucky to get away with that one, Kenya. There was a bit of miscommunication in their attack there where one player went under for a switch and it was given a little bit too late. Thank you. It worked the first time for Orlando. She wasn't even looking there. No, she wasn't. She didn't have her hands up. She wasn't looking for the ball. She was worried about the gap she was trying to get through. Timing also a key on those late cuts. I think she was a little bit too early a step, maybe. Yeah. And a little bit too shallow as well. She needed to be maybe one or two metres a bit deeper to give the ball players some time and vision. Kenyan player, Masinde, gets back off the deck. She's Knock a tough on. young lady. Knock on South Africa. She's going to no drop into the first wide roll. Roll. She's very deep yeah? behind okay. the scrum here. It's a Kenyan feed. Knock on from South Five. Africa. I think it was Webb. It's a very deep set. Kenya going to come to the right-hand side where Rimor actually take, took the ball. There's that late switch again. They seem to be... Targeting that or using that as a tactic. South Africa strong up top with the knees down, so it has to be a tackle release. Three numbers wrapping around, one come from the blind to create the overlap. Orlando with the pass, now she'll clean out the captain. Good ball. Remore. Come back to where the ball had just come from. Remore looping around. Now she goes into the open, waiting for the defence to close in, but they jam in nicely. Do South Africa go. Good hit put on by Jordan. So we're able to retain possession though, Kenya. Making that little step back into the infield, trying to find some lazy runners. A couple of missed tackles there. All arms from South Africa. Now, unfortunately, tripped up by your own player was Okello. Over the ball though, was South Africa. And that's a turnover, is it, from Simmers? Right form. Right form, no, have to release the player. She goes quickly, does the captain, Orlando. Very strong for the start of this game, but that's how you tackle there. Getting the shoulder down, Webb. She gets the ball away. Coming back again 
Gets to Grain. Very messy and loose from Kenya, though. Good defence, though, from South Africa. Keeping their space. Tough work. Line speed good for Kenya, but there comes the kick. No one in behind. Okello is the one. And she gets the pick up. Okello releases the ball quickly, and she's going to get the score. Nice recognition there from Janet Okello to realise there's no one in behind, and she gets the first score. Very nicely executed there for Janet Okello. Her second try this weekend at the Commonwealth Games, and she saw the vision. She saw there was no sweeper in behind. She put the little chip through and regathered it herself. Great knowledge to get up on her feet, release the ball, pick it up again and go, seeing that there was no defence in front of her. But that was really good effort from the Kenyan side to hold on to that ball for one, two, three phases and really earn the right to get over the try line. That's what is going to win this game, is having respect for that ball and holding on to it for more than two phases. Well, I really did force a South African woman up to their front line with no sweeper and I haven't seen many women use that tactic, but it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. Here's the kickoff there from Kenya. Batter back. Forward off South Africa. Forward off South Africa. So it's going to be a repeat possession from Kenya. Advantage Starting to find their confidence now. Going on the outside when she was just out. Unfortunately, Okulu. A little risk there from the winger. Just playing with the sideline. It's not really something that you want to do. You want to actually keep possession. Push a throw here on Simmers. For South Africa, they've had hardly any ball. They had to make a lot of tackles. Needs to be accurate here. They get it there. Unconventionally do South Africa. So set piece is good. Dummy in behind. And now, good set piece play. Jordan with the late switch. Running onto ball. And this lady here, I think, is the secret ruse. She's so quick. Coming across the field. And there's the intercept. Good read and defense from Mbobo. Orlando shifts the ball. Reps around. Should have probably set that up. Or Kulu. It's off the knee, so it's play on. Good clean out from South Africa now. One on one. She's got the angle though, so she's just going to pull out. This Nadine Ruse. Good defense from South Africa. Philadelphia Orlando is all over the park. The captain for the Kenyans. Good shape about the note, South Africa. But a loose pass, unfortunately, from Louise Webb. She had a little bit too much fire behind that pass, Webb. Went behind her winger rather than in front while she was on the fly. Rubs her hands on the ground trying to get some grip. Unfortunately for South Africa, doing so well. Break down. Got some healthy support here too, South Africa. Seen a lot of flags flying around. She's a close one, this one. We knew it was going to be. They know each other so well, these two teams. And Bogle's the one that's going to be lifted. And that's not straight. Big mistake. Scrum? You're like a scrum or line out? Scrum? scrum now, they do have the option to have the scrum or the line out. South Africa. You like the call to go for a scrum? Yeah, I think they're better off going for a scrum. They're probably going to muscle over this Kenyan team, but... We're soon to find out. I think the play is to, to get it to Nadine Ruse. She's already shown that there's a lot of pace on the outside. At the very minimum, you're going to stretch the defence and maybe play off that. You see what they do here, South Africa. Good scrum there by Kenya. Put a lot of pressure on. That's cleaned out nicely. That's all she could do. So they've had to go back before they go forward. Now Webb. And again, a loose pass from Webb. Just losing the handle straight away. She'll be disappointed. The body language, I think, says it all. She's not happy about that one. Looks like the ball just slipped out of her hands there and went forward. Didn't get to where she wanted it to go. But this will give Kenya good field position to attack. Yeah, great field position, just on the 10 metre line. A lot of talk going into these scrums. I like it when teams like each other like that. There's a lot of interplay. Fine. Sit. Kenya, last time. Out muscle South Africa scrum time. South Africa though able to advantage, withstand it. Advantage Kenya. Very flat pass. Chajera in the boot. Clears the ball. They loop around. Now South Africa disjointed in their defense. A nice draw and pass. Now can she finish on this position? Masende is going to have too much gas. And Kenya take a two-score lead over South Africa.
A very nice way to finish that first half there from Masinde. She saw the gap open up in the South African defense here. The South African just got caught in the wrong position. Overran her mark a little bit, but Masinde just exploited that weakness there to get another five points before the Hooter. Relation on the bench of the Kenyans and fair play too. Playing some good rugby sevens. Conversion is good. Masinde loves it. She gets the score just before the half. And it's Kenya who are up over at South Africa. 14 points to nil. We're over tracking because we're too tight. Okay, so let's get our width and then we can get up. Okay, on attack, keep the balls. We see great line coming. Just hold your ball for another phase. Some wise words there from coach Paul Delport for South Africa, talking about them just getting a little bit wider in defense. They're over tracking in terms of their tackles. They're tracking on the outside and they're getting stepped on the inside, which is beating them every single time. That's how Kenya's getting over the top of them. And in attack, as I said earlier, this game is going to be won with who's got the most respect for the ball. That's exactly what the coach for the South African team just said. We need to hold it for one or two more phases and run them ragged in defense. Just a couple of mistakes, unfortunately, for South Africa, putting themselves under pressure. They really do need the first score in the second half. South Africa by no means out of it. It's King and team, though, playing the game in the right end of the field. Nadine Ruse hasn't had many opportunities with all in space. She is the key for mine in the South African team. South Africa. Second half about to get underway in this pool A clash. It's Kenya. And South Africa, Kenya. There you go. Through Remore. We'll do that all again. And she goes long, easily gobbled up. Shift it into the 22. The lay cut in the midfield. Unusual running style. And here's another lay cut to Ruse. Very evasive. There's the woman in jersey number nine. Now they find some space. Simmers eats up the yards and a nice late cut and a good pass too by Marley. Back to Simmers now. Simmers, this is the start. Coach Paul Dalport's been waiting for. Running from depth. Pass a stick in result try. Some good finishing touches there for Simmers. She got two touches on the ball. Made a break initially. A beautiful long pass there from Jordan. And here she switched under, but she reloaded and she was there for support. And that's when she got the second touch to finish and get the job done. And you touched on it, Coach Paul Delport, he said, we want to go another couple of phases, but they avoided going into contact that phase and just kept the ball alive and it worked for them in the end. That's right what you say though, once you even pass the ball, your job's not done, is it? You've got to get back in the playoff, and that's what she did exactly right. Yeah, exactly right. You can't switch off once you pass the ball, not in the game of sevens. There's too much space to cover. Conversion is missed, so it's a, still a two-score game to the good for Kenya. Jordan about to get us going. Too long to contest, but just outside the 22, so... Easily taken by Orlando, and there's the mistake. Now, Kenya, have they switched off? Here's the 22, girls. Starting to crumble under the pressure here, Kenya. That was an unforced error, just a clean drop there. Unlucky. It's funny what a bit of pressure does to players, isn't it? Isn't it? Kenya seemed easily in control, but South Africa, after their try, forced the mistake. Momentum definitely changed. Simmons just complaining to the referee. Robert sits all over. She's able to clear the ball, though. Jordan. Jordan running. Jordan dummy in, and Jordan's going to slice through. Nice play from the first five. 
A very well-deserved five points there for Jordan. She's been all over the park today. Just scoots on the other side there. Goes left, had the numbers, but the two, sorry, the two-hand carry is what caught that winger and allowed that space in between the defensive winger and centre to open up and for her to take. Oh, I'm loving the analysis from Tiana Penatani, former Australian sevens player, right? Just these little skills, holding the ball in two hands is a simple thing to, once you execute it like that, that's a good shot of it. It can throw off defenders. It seems so simple, but you watch the best players in the world, the likes of Charlotte Casley, Gail Broaden, Tyler Nathan Wong, all of those players carry the ball in two hands and it leaves those defenders just in that split moment thinking, is she going to go? Is she going to pass it? And that's how they get through. The try score it. Restarting us again, Zene Jordan. Now, Kenya, can they find a reply here? Still in the lead, no conversions by South Africa. They have to come back on the mark. Right, girls, hands. They need to rush it here from Kenya. Cool heads needed. Philadelphia, Orlando, I think one of the best names in the competition. She's on the ball. Play 12. She's got the head gear. She passes it out. What can they conjure up here? Kenya, they have to do a lot of tackles. Very flat on the outside, so they have to take it into contact. She does just that good run. Solid run too. Aggressive from Kenya. And able to regather it after the little bobble. So they've gone wide once. And now it's going to come back, I think, for the knock-on. Sorry. Call from the assistant referee. I think it's the right one. It looked like a little fumble. Just wasn't too sure whether she regathered it or whether it actually hit the ground. I think it actually hit her player, so this has to come back. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that's a knock on. And again, through their own mistakes, Kenya find themselves under pressure. They seem so dominant in the first half, but now they've had no possession of the ball. They've been starved of possession and find themselves hanging on their feet in defence. Very competitive game. Last one in pool A for these two teams. Good ball given out from Simmers. Jordan been allowed to run. Oh, and unfortunately, just as she was passing it, took the hit and the forced the forward pass. Marley with beautiful timing, and she's down too. Zene Jordan, big contact. She had the right idea there, the hardline runner. And Jordan, she let it go just as she got into contact. Whether that hit her arm and forced the ball to go forward. I think she's just winded here. Zene Jordana was a nice shot put on her by Grace Okulu coming across, forcing the mistake. Well, we're starting off the bench, the captain. Oh, poor Dalport. He knows how important his last two minutes are. These impact players have a big job to do to secure this win for the South Africans. A great lady to bring on. Zinti Umfa from Jersey number four for South Africa. It's going to be Kenyan ball. But today, Jordan's coming off. Never nice, is it, when you get winded? No, it's a bad feeling. She had a good game, though, today, Jordan. Scored a try, got her team back into this one. Not much more she can do. Kenya here. Do they keep it through the hands? Do they use the kick? Also, they've been able to get one try off. Balls in from Janet Okello, and they lose the scrum. South Africa get it out to Ruse. He comes back in away from the sideline, goes in behind it. Support player, so someone has to come across. Pressure applied from Kenya at the breakdown. Now they spread out. But they've got numbers, South Africa. They can shift it here quickly. Simmers. With the miss pass to Gray, who goes against it. No left or right, so a big shot again by Philadelphia Orlando. Gets the turnover. The captain stands up. Oh, yeah. Even the crowds go. Ooh. The deep, though. South African players down, so only six in the line for South Africa at the moment. If they break, there's no one in behind. Nice offload. They're going down Main Street. Nice set. Now stretching them. Ah, Kenya. 
Going on the outside, the strong fend up top from Chargera, and she fends away. Is there one more that she uses a step? Chargera and the offload from the captain go on. Philadelphia Orlando, she's fed, but she deserves it. Hugs all around. Well done, Cap. There's no one more deserving on the field than Philadelphia Orlando, the Kenyan captain. She's been all over the place today. Came from that big hit, though, in contact. And they had numbers. That was a great run there from the Kenyan winger to fend off the South African defenders. Steps inside off the right foot, and then the support came in the form of the captain herself. They're a real confidence-based team, this Kenyan side. As soon as they get a bit of momentum, they're on for all money. Well, that's what it means right there. Oh, you betcha. The water boy's happy. <laughs> More than 30 seconds, so no time for the conversion. There's going to be a sub. Because there's a kickoff, it's only a four-point lead. For Kenya, so if South Africa are able to score from this kickoff, they will win the game. Oh, 19, sorry. I'll get my mess right. So Kenya, we're going to take the win in this one. South Africa, very slow to get back. Simmers on the ball. She gets to return past Simmers. She's in the hole. There's no one around her except for Kenyan jerseys. And they come in. Defence over the ball. Desperation for Kenya. Knock on, though. Game, set, and match. Kenya. Hands in the air. Says it all. The smile says it all. They'll take a much-deserved win over their neighbours, Kenya. They take this one. In the end, Kenya do 19 points to 10 over South Africa.